My first shot consisted of the protagonist of the narrative, and the reason I did this before the location was because of I felt the introduction of the character was more important than the introduction of the location for my opening sequence. I wanted to introduce my character to the audience, supported with a non-diegetic speech. This character was clearly to convey to be on her own, and it was made obvious to the audience that this was the insight of her life by the one-shot and voiceover. I wanted to have the opening credits to break up the action going on. I felt that this was important to not take anything away from the action. I thought that I would then introduce the location to the audience to support the voiceover to portray the new environment that the protagonist has moved to. Between the opening credits and other shots, I wanted to have two other shots exactly the same to the first, but with a different camera technique. I wanted to have it from a long shot to a medium shot and finally to a close-up so each time the audience can see the serious look on the protagonist and they can begin to empathise with her as they start to find out what the narrative is really about. The title of my film does not really reveal what happens in the narrative because of the area it has been placed, but I wanted to have the visuals of the title supporting the name of it by having it to disappear. I wanted to convey to the audience that she does not just have the negative aspects of the move to burst it, but she also has the positive ones such as her friends. I wanted to ra raise an enigma code to the audience to make them question whether the friends have any idea of the issue that is going on in her life or whether they are unaware of it. The shots of her working in a scene was where I thought it would be appropriate to place the negative aspects of the move as this is the main basis of my narrative. The low angle shot that I placed of the bullies was to portray the power and dominance they have over her. I wanted to also place a continuity technique which was a match on action to give a different angle of what is going on by carrying one shot over to the next. With the drug scene I wanted to raise an enigma code to the audience so that they would ask themselves the question would she take the drugs or not. From the British social drama films that I have seen, they raise issues from an account of someone in a lo lower social class and they either abuse drugs or alcohol. An example of this is kid adulthood. I wanted to conform and take on the idea to support my genre. Unlike other social drama films, I wanted to raise the last Enigma code not long after the previous one, which supports the line from my voice voiceover in the last scene I need to rethink things through. The enigma code in the scene indicates that she has thought things through and this would be her next step. I left the final scene with a fade. This was the biggest enigma code I had in my opening sequence.